Our last topic is Indigo cultivation and two methods introduced by English East India Company in the field of Indigo cultivation. The late 18th century company decided to cultivate Indigo and Opium in our country. So they introduced two systems. First one, niche cultivation. Niche cultivation. In this system, the indigo cultivators, they can directly cultivate this indigo in their own lungs. But only one fruit that is they can cultivate this indigo in a fertile region because they were compelled to cultivate this indigo in that region at the same time these fertile regions were already densely populated so these people they fled to countryside. These indigo cultivators, they fled to countryside. That was a failure. Next one is a right system. In this system, the planters were forced to cultivate Indigo. That means this writings of these cultivators were always exploited by the planters. At the same time, they were, these cultivators, these planters were always uh, forced them to cultivate indigo in the fertile soil which is preferred, already preferred by this varieties for rice cultivation. Then there started clash between planters and these varieties for cultivators. So, in 1859, there happened one famous rebellion called Blue Rebellion. Blue rebellion. The rebellion was against the exploitation of planters that was led by these indigo cultivators. These cultivators they decided to refuse the payment of tax and they refused to cultivate indigo. At the same time, they attacked indigo factories. At last, company sent one force to suppress this rebellion. And in our history, one famous historical event that is Champaran movement that happened in 1917. The is the presence of our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Champaran movement. Yes, these cultivators, they raised their voice against exploitation of planters. Okay.